All right, tonight's video is a static RAM lab consisting of this static RAM IC. It has 256 addresses and four bits of data on each address. This one does not have a bi-directional data bus. It's got a data input and a data output. The data input are from the data switches. The data output are on the logic indicators. While it is a random accessible memory chip, or you can access all the addresses with the same access time randomly, um, I do have a sequential addressing scheme set up to generate the 8-bit address on this ribbon cable. So I'm clocking a 3-hex digit counter and I'm just looking at 8 bits, so this is hex, 4 bits per digit. And I also have some debounce data switches connected to the control pins. Uh, not WE is write enable, active low. OD is output disable, active high. And I've just forced the RAM chip into chip enable as this is the only device on the bus right now, so I'm just leaving it enabled. The not CE1 is grounded. CE2, chip enabled 2, is uh, active high. It's put at 5 volts. So I'm going to start out by erasing this memory chip. And erasing the memory chip, I'm going to, I'll go ahead and disable the output. And the data sheet says to disable the output whenever you are writing. Uh, I tend to read and write at the same time or output while I'm writing, but whenever I'm clearing the whole chip, I think I'll, I'll take the data sheet's advice. I'm going to put it in write mode. I'm going to set all data switches low. I'm going to pull the reset on the counter to get to address zero. Reset's active high, so I just removed the MR pin master reset is no longer grounded so I go to address 00, zero. at that address I've got the RAM chip enabled to write WE is low and I'm writing all zeros to the data input to erase the entire chip I turn the clock on and I'm gonna cycle through all 256 addresses. And that's more than erased. Turn the clock off. Go back to uh, address zero. Take it out of reset. And at address zero, I'm going to write all ones. The write enable, I'm putting it back in read mode. Write is typically done with a strobe, meaning low and then back high. And then if you want to see it, I take the output out of disable. And you can see all the ones at the output if the wire didn't break. I'm in read mode. All right, that's working. All right, let's go to another address. Let's cycle up. So all ones are in address zero. All right, so I cycled up to F. At F, I'm going to write one zero, one zero. So I just strobe the right enable. When it goes back up to read, I can see the one zero, one zero. I should also be able to go back to address zero and see the one that was previously written, or actually four ones. As long as power's on, it will remember. So I'm putting the reset back on. I'll go back up to F. Everything should be erased until I get to F. F has binary 10 in it, or one zero one zero.